So I wanted to make a video about what happens with the Lexus GS450H transmission when all we do is uh, have the MG1 spinning. This transmission has two electric motors in it. MG1 sits in the front and MG2 sits in the back. The job of MG1 is to act as a starter and help the uh, gasoline powered engines fire up for the first time. And MG2 is the one that spins the output shaft. In a prior video, we did a bench test of only connecting MG2 and spinning the output shaft. In this video, I want to talk about what happens when all we do is connect MG1. So as you can see, I'm not going to go into the great detail of how this is all connected. You can see a prior video on that. But basically, we only have one resolver cable going from the inverter here to the, uh, to the transmission. There's MG1 connection here and MG2 in the back. There's nothing connected to MG2. MG2 is just right here laying on the floor. And watch. The input shaft is spinning, but the output shaft is not. Now, something that I did just to make it easier to demonstrate this, Also in the prior video, we extracted this from the clutch plate, clutch disc that attaches to the flywheel, which then uh, slips onto the splines of the input shaft. I'm just putting this on so it's easier for us to see the input shaft spinning. It's rather difficult to see without that on there. Well, so as you can see, As you can see, only, only the input shaft spins with MG1 connected. Let's disconnect MG1. Now we're going to connect only MG2. So this is only with the second motor connected. Let's see what happens when we spin only the second motor. Well, it appears that both the input and the output shaft spin, right? There's really no sense in connecting MG1 as well right now, although we could, because we won't be able to tell which motor is doing what. So now this is with both MG1 and MG2 connected. This is interesting. With both MG1 and MG2 connected, it seems like only the output shaft spins, but I assume it's only MG2 spin doing all the work. In a prior video, we came up with this device, which basically takes the coupling, center coupling, out of the um, clutch plate from this transmission, and we just attach a bar to it to make it go across here. It's just a way to stop the input shaft from spinning. There are many ways to do this. This is just a temporary way to do it for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to put this on now. I'm just going to attach it finger tight. So now the input shaft cannot spin, okay? So now, this is MG2. It's not plugged in at all, okay? Currently, we only have MG1 connected to the front here. Alright, so let's see what happens when we try to spin it. Hopefully you can see that. 
we are now, we are now spinning this output shaft using MG1. We are only using MG1. So here you can see a close-up that there is no MG2 connected. It's only MG1 in the middle of the transmission there. And MG1 is spinning the output shaft. MG1 goes here, MG2 goes here, spinning the output shot only using MG1. Input shaft is not spinning, MG1 is spinning the output shaft all by itself. MG2 is not connected at all to my hand. And so now, if we connect MG2 as well, we'll have both motors spinning the output shaft. Get out of here. Now with both MG1 and MG2 connected, Both motors are spinning the output shaft. 